Oke teman-teman selamat datang kembali di Bali Blend Podcast Harapan kabar sehat semuanya Kembali di podcast Minggu Ceria episode keempat Nah sekarang baru episode keempat Oke Kali ini kita akan teruskan ya Game yang kemarin Jadi kemarin kita baru sampai di chapter 1 Jadi ceritanya kemarin itu kita menemukan sebuah misteri yang disembunyikan oleh Richards Salah satu teman dari Patricia yang merupakan uh, reporter Dan sekarang diceritakan si Patricia sedang melakukan investigasi atau penuhan cara di Duke Silver Glance Club Gitu katanya Tanpa berpanjang kata, mari kita lanjutkan saja frekuensi missing ini Welcome to Frequency Missing. This game is played in landscape mode with the home button to the right. Main menu. Continue, guys. Continue. Chapter 2. April 14th. The chief has given me my first assignment. I'm to interview Samuel Silverglands about the renovation and development of the Duke Silverglands Club. A lot of members are big shots. My boss among them. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I'm going to make the best story I can. I'm already on thin ice after that incident in the newsroom. Sadly, I didn't have time to do much research, but apparently Samuel Silverglands' father passed away about a month ago. Oh, now I see why the club has Duke in its name. This place looks like something you'd find in a castle with all the leather, mahogany and paintings all over the place. Oke okay guys, akhirnya kita sampai di Duke Silver Glance Club. Di sini adalah uh, sebuah kafe di mana si Samuel ini yang memiliki Duke Silver Glance Club itu memanipulasi keadaan. Jadi di sini diceritakan si Samuel ini korupsi ya. Jadi dia tidak setuju dengan uh, pendapat ayahnya. Ke, uh, sebenarnya ini kalau saya boleh uh, apa namanya? Kalau saya boleh uh, cerita, ini mungkin akan menjadi cheat ya, <laughs> cheat ataupun ya pokoknya kita boleh bocorin sedikit ya. Sebenarnya ayah dari Silver Glance ini, keluarga Silver Glance ini menginginkan bahwa KP ini jatuh di tangan Sylvia dan Oscar tapi Samuel tidak mendapatkan apa-apa karena memang Samuel uh, sifatnya adalah anak ke tiga dari tiga bersaudara jadi dia tidak mendapatkan apa-apa nah di sini Samuel tidak setuju karena memang mereka uh, ia ingin juga memiliki Silver Glance Club ini dan akhirnya memang dia memilikinya cuman akhirnya si loyal Blandenburg ini yang diajak uh, sebagai anak buahnya Samuel ini memanipulasi keadaan jadi si Sylvia ini dikurung di tiap room oke okay. sekarang kita sudah ada di bar dan sekarang kita akan bertanya kepada Victor yang merupakan bartendernya mari kita cari si Victor the club's bartender hello I'm Patricia from Radio IDUN do you mind if I ask you a few questions I suppose that's all right. I'm not too busy at the moment my name's Victor Oke, okay, ini adalah Victor. Jadi bartendernya bernama Victor. Mari kita bertanya tentang klubnya dulu. The club. So what's it like here? Do you like your job? It doesn't pay much, but the status you get from working for such a fine establishment makes it worthwhile. I thought you'd get paid well, considering the high class of this place and all. You would think so, yes. It started to unravel a bit lately. That's why they're opening a new restaurant to make more money. That sounds like an interesting story. What more can you tell me? I've, I've said too much already. Nah ceritanya si Victor menceritakan bahwa klub ini akan berubah menjadi restoran dan bisa dimasuki oleh orang banyak tidak ber, tidak hanya orang-orang yang mempunyai member di VIP room ini. Nah sekarang kita akan bertanya tentang si Samuel. Samuel, I'm supposed to interview Samuel, but I can't seem to find him. Do you know where he is? He might turn up soon. There's a lot of work to do before the grand opening. Ya ceritanya grand openingnya belum terlaksana. Ternyata si Samuel akan datang dengan segera, tetapi dia nggak tahu kapan waktunya. Nah sekarang kita bertanya tentang ini ya, kita beli minum ya untuk nanti 
Cerita kita akan bertemu dengan si Oscar. Kita kasih dia uh, minuman Italia namanya konyak atau kalau orang Indonesia bilangnya uh, wine ya, wine kayak gitu. Buy drink. Uh, can I get a drink? What are you having? Cognac. Ah, uh, cognac, please. My pleasure. Oke, okay, minumannya udah kita dapetin. Kita permisi sama si Victor. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Victor. Nah, sekarang kita akan masuk ke pintu yang di bagian kanan ini. The door to the lounge. A lounge with books, a pool table, and expensive armchairs to relax in. Oke, okay, di sini ada dua orang. Yang satu lagi main biliar, yang satu lagi lagi mabuk. Yang lagi mabuk ini namanya Oscar. Dia adalah adik dari si Samuel tadi. Sekarang kita akan bertanya kepada si cewek ini dulu yang lagi main biliar. Ini salah satu pengunjung ya, salah satu pengunjung daripada bar ini. Nah, Oke, ini dia. Langsung saja kita tanya orangnya. A well-dressed woman playing pool. I didn't even know that kind of shot was possible. Hello, I'm Patricia. Do you have a minute? You new here? The name's Veronica. Yes, I'm here to do a story about the club. Nah, si pengunjung ini mengira si Patricia ini adalah pegawai daripada barnya. Ini sebenarnya bukan. Oke, sekarang kita tanyakan tentang... The club. club. What do you think about the club? It's good enough to play pool in. Except for that fat, obnoxious man over in the corner who smells of cognac. Apparently, he's some kind of hotshot around here. At least that's what he tells anyone who cares to listen. Can't they throw him out so I can play pool in peace? Yes, there's a smell coming from there, all right. Give drink. Samuel. Do you know where Samuel Silverglands is? Who's that? The club's owner. Sorry, not really a part of that crowd. Oh iya, dia hanya pengunjung ya. Kita permisi. Goodbye, thank you very much. Nah, sekarang baru kita tanya ke orang yang mabuk ini. <coughs> He smells of alcohol. Hello, I'm Patricia from Radio IDUN. Would you mind answering a few questions? Ah, from Radio IDUN. Why, yes. I'm Oscar Silverglanz, and I would gladly answer your questions. If only my throat wasn't so dry. Oscar Silverglanz, are you related to Samuel? Sadly, he is my brother. Oke, okay, sekarang kita kasih minumannya ke dia. Give drink. Mm. Oh, a fine cognac with such aromatic complexities. What was it you wanted to talk about? Bicara tentang Samuel. Samuel, I'm looking for your brother Samuel. Do you know where he is? Uh, who did you say you were again? Patricia from Radio IDUN. I'm here to interview him. Oh, right, right. Yeah, he he mentioned something about that. Uh, rather, he bragged about how he was going to be on the radio. I can't find him. Do you know where he is? Yes. Uh, would you like me to get him? Apakah kita ingin memanggilnya ya seperti ini. Yes, yes, please. Unless it's too much of a bother. Uh, hold on. I'll call him for you. Oke, okay. ditelepon sama dia. He'll be at the bar in a minute. If you don't get any good answers from that wretch, you could always ask him about our father's foundation. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Oke, okay, sekarang kita ke bar. Si Samuel udah ada di sana. The door to the bar. Oke, okay, Samuel ada di sini. Ah, oh, Samuel is here. Now I can get my interview. Hello, I'm Patricia from Radio IDUN. It's about time you showed up. Pertanyaan pertama kita akan Bolehkah kita memilih interview? Interview. Do you have time for the interview now? Yes, that's fine. Oke, okay, pertanyaan pertama kita akan bertanya tentang klubnya. The restaurant. The club. What can you tell me about the Duke Silverglands Club? I started it 20 years ago. You started it by yourself? I thought your siblings were part owners. 
Just because a piece of paper says so doesn't mean they did anything. I built this club from the ground up. Kita tanya tentang masa depannya menjadi restoran. The restaurant, and you'll soon be opening a new restaurant that'll be open to non-members as well. What's your view on the future? I thought it was time to do something new, and the restaurant business is very lucrative. So it's about money. Don't put words in my mouth. You will cut that from the interview. <clears throat> um, I felt it was time to give something back to the community. My father was a very generous man, and so am I. Kemudian kita tanya tentang the family. Familynya. I talked to your brother earlier. Don't listen to a word he says. So that's enough about my brother. Dan sekarang terakhir kita tanya tentang bapaknya. Your father. I realize this is a touchy subject, but I think the listeners would want to hear about your father, who passed away last month. You inherited most of his fortune. I don't hear a question. I'm wondering how this affects the club and the new restaurant. Plans for the development have been in place for a long time. With the inheritance, I was able to realize them. That's all I will say about my father. This wasn't very interesting. Maybe I should ask him about the foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about your father's foundation? I don't want to talk about that. It'll be a better story, and it's something I think our listeners will want to hear about. I don't think so. Trust me, it'll be great. All right, but keep it short. Thank you. Can you tell me what kind of foundation it is? <laughs> If you haven't even bothered to find out yourself, I'm not gonna tell you. No, I only, I only thought it would sound better if you were the one telling the listeners about it instead of me. Well, all right. My father created the Silver Glans Foundation to help the less fortunate. It was something he cared deeply about. Thank you. So, why was it that he gave all the money to you without providing something for the foundation? That's not something I want to discuss. This was supposed to be about my restaurant, not my personal affairs. Your radio station's reputation seems very exaggerated since they said an amateur like you. This interview is over. A sensitive subject, apparently. I can't leave this place without a real interview. Samuel didn't say much before he stormed off. There has to be someone around who can give me a good story. I guess I can snoop around a bit while I'm here. Richard had a members card for the VIP room. I could start there. Oke, okay, ceritanya si Samuel itu pergi karena dia tidak mau menjelaskan tentang yayasan dari Silver Glance Foundation-nya. Karena memang di situ mereka melakukan manipulasi agar si Sylvia dan si Oscar ini terkurung tidak mendapatkan apa-apa. Sekarang kita masuk lagi ke dalam The Lounge. Kita bicara sama adiknya lagi. Oscar Silver Glance. Hello. Dan sekarang kita kasih tahu bahwa interviewnya kacau. The interview. Hey, you tricked me. Samuel was furious when I mentioned the foundation. <laughs> yeah, I could hear it from here. It actually made my day. Ya, seperti itu. The club. Kita tanya tentang, tentang, tentang keadaan di sini. What do you think about the club? Uh, Samuel started to renovate the place and it's turned out rather nice, even if it doesn't listen to my suggestions. He doesn't listen to you? I am part owner after all. All three of us are, you know. But Samuel has ruled with an iron fist ever since he inherited most of our father's fortune. Didn't you receive an equal share? No. Father handed most of it over to Samuel. Now Sylvia and I have to live on what our dear brother provides. Ya yeah, betul, karena yang dipercaya sama ayahnya adalah si Sylvia dan si Oscar. Karena Samuel ini memang mungkin dia nggak bisa ngatur keuangan atau gimana kita nggak tahu. Jadi Samuel nggak dapat apa-apa kayak gitu. Goodbye, thank you very much. Nah sekarang kita masuk ke dalam lagi. Di sini ada pintu. The door to the kitchen. A reporter has to be willing to go where she is not welcome. A restaurant kitchen. I didn't know there were so many different kinds of pots and pans. Oh, there's an elevator as well. I wonder where it leads. Sekarang kita bicara sama chefnya. A rather large chef. Hi, I'm Patricia. Do you have a moment? <laughs> a moment. We'll have to talk while I'm working. The VIP. Can you help me get into the VIP room? 
Why would I do that? Can't you see I've got my hands full? I'm from radio... Uh, quiet. I I'm getting an order. Give me a sirloin steak with red wine sauce. Oh, I haven't got time to listen to the radio. I've got to get those orders ready for the VIP room. The waiter is ill today, and it's going to take me half the day to carry the food up all those stairs. There's an elevator over there. Can't you use that? You don't think I know about the elevator? Yes, it goes up to the VIP room, but the engine is busted. According to Mr. Silverglanz, an engineer is on the way. He's been saying that for the last three weeks. Okay, terima kasih, Chef. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Nah, sekarang kita tugasnya adalah ke basement untuk memperbaiki elevator mesinnya atau mesin liftnya. Wah, mantap juga ini. Wartawan bisa memperbaiki lift. Stairs to a basement. Maybe a food cellar? A dark basement. What are you doing here, Patricia? Nah, sebelum kita memperbaiki liftnya, kita akan membaca koran agar si Patricia mengetahui apa sebenarnya yang terjadi. Ini dia. A newspaper with Alan Silverglanz on the front page. It has a story about him and his foundation. Apparently, he was a philanthropist who spent a lot of time helping the less fortunate. That's a pretty big difference from his sons. I wonder if his daughter Sylvia is the same. Hmm. A bit strange that he gave his entire fortune to Samuel. This must be the elevator engine the chef mentioned. Maybe I should try to fix it. Yes, all right. Let's see. I'll try the on button and we'll see what happens. I guess not. It just spun around once and stopped. There are a few different buttons to press here. I wonder what they do. Nah, itu adalah sequence-nya. Jadi yang pertama adalah suara ini. The engine is sputtering. Kemudian It's yang... not running with full power yet. Kemudian yang di atas. It's gaining power. Kemudian yang di bawah. Almost there. Dan yang di tengah. working. First Richard safe, now an elevator engine. I'm really on a roll. Dan akhirnya si liftnya nyala ya teman-teman. Sekarang kita naik ke atas untuk gambarin safe-nya bahwa liftnya sudah bisa digunakan. The stairs to the kitchen. Chef. The chef. Hello. The elevator. I managed to fix the elevator. I have to thank you. How in the blazes did you pull that off? It was really technical, but I've picked up a few things over the years. Well, if my hands weren't so sticky, I'd give you a big hug. How am I ever going to repay you? Well, could I ride upstairs in the elevator and check out the VIP room? Yes, of course. Okay, terima kasih. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Sekarang kita ke VIP room ya. The service elevator. Should I go to the VIP room? Yes, here we go. I'm gonna do the interview of the decade with someone up there. I'm finally in the VIP room. They spared no expense decorating this place. A bearskin on the floor, silk curtains in the windows, and everyone is really dressed up. I hope I can get a good interview with someone here. Nah, di sini ada tiga orang. Yang mana yang salah satunya yang paling kiri ini, yang ada suara radio. Nah, ini itu adalah musuhnya atau yang memanipulasi daripada keadaan dan nanti si Patricia uh, juga akan mendapatkan hal yang sama kita langsung aja ke yang paling kanan an older woman fashionably dressed in a beautiful red dress hello I'm Patricia do you have a moment hello Patricia I'm Sylvia Silverglanz oh really is Samuel your brother That is correct, but it's not something I normally advertise. What's on your mind? Okay, langsung saja kita mulai inter interviewnya. The club. What do you think about the club? Why do you ask? I'm from Radio IDUN, and I'm doing a story about the foundation. My interview with Samuel, it didn't go so well. Well, in that case, this is more or less my prison. Are they keeping you here against your will? 
After Samuel inherited all of father's fortune, I had no choice but to stay on his good side. <gasps> oh, that sounds so dramatic. Do you mind if I do an interview with you? Well, absolutely. I have a lot to say. When do you want to start? Start now. Start now. All right. Well, let's start the interview. What do you want to know? Okay, sekarang kita mulai interviewnya. More about the club. What can you tell me about the Duke Silverglands Club? My brother Samuel opened it 20 years ago. He wanted to create a club that the richest of the rich would travel to from all over. I can understand why you would like to be a member. It's a really beautiful and nice place. Nice. As long as you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. The staff is mostly underpaid, repairs don't get done, and the members are starting to leave. Nah, kayak gitu. Jadi staffnya itu dibayar sedikit. Dan membernya juga banyak yang pergi karena banyaknya kesalahan yang dilakukan oleh si Samuel. More about the club, the renovation. What's your view on the restoration? Opening a restaurant to the public is just Samuel's strategy to avoid bankruptcy. So where does the money come from? From father's inheritance. Money I think should be spent on better things than keeping this monstrosity going. Okay. Jadi dia memanfaatkan uang dari ayahnya yang meninggal untuk mendirikan restoran. Entah itu restorannya jadi atau tidak kita tidak tahu. The foundation. What can you tell me about the Silver Glands Foundation? <sighs> well, sadly it's been forced to shut down. It was father's jewel, but Samuel isn't interested in giving anything away. It's odd that father gave it all to Samuel. I don't understand it. So you're surprised with the distribution of the inheritance? Yes. He was always so determined that the foundation would continue after his death. He and Samuel never saw eye to eye and he hated this club. Too expensive, too snobby and completely absurd, he would say. Laced with a little profanity, that is. <laughs> What do you think made him change his mind? Well, I don't believe anything could have made him change his mind about that. Samuel must have forced him in some way. But now my beloved father is dead, so there's nothing I can do. <sighs> I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. <clears throat> you there? Yeah, Nidia. What do you think you're doing? It's okay. She's interviewing me. You're not in charge here, Sylvia. Security! In here! Please escort this insolent girl out of here. I can walk by myself. Sorry, it's my job. Well, at least I got one juicy interview. Back to the office for editing. Nah, di sini lah masalahnya. And now, over to our report on the exclusive Duke Silverglans Club, which is about to open a new restaurant for non-members. Huh, she could have at least mentioned my name. What can you tell me about the Duke Silverglans Club? The Duke Silverglans Club is my jewel and my passion. I want people to come here and forget about their troubles. It's a really beautiful and nice place. I'm extremely pleased to hear you say that. What? That's not my interview. <gasps> Those are my questions to Sylvia. But it's Samuel who's answering. Chapter 3 Oke, okay. dan akhirnya chapter 2 selesai. Yang berakhir... Dengan apa ya Si Chips. Double tap to open Podcast Double tap to open Si broadcastingnya atau hasil wawancaranya diedit oleh mungkin Richard ya Kita nggak tahu itu apakah dia yang mengedit Jadi harusnya dia berwawancara dengan Sylvia Tetapi yang direkaman itu memperlihatkan bahwa Si, si Samuel Silver Glance yang menjawab pertanyaannya Wow Nah Apakah yang akan terjadi di chapter 3 dan bagaimana selanjutnya ceritanya? Frequency missing. Closing frequency missing. Voice memos. Active. Kita akan tunggu jawabannya nanti. Voice memos. Card overlay. Stop. Button. Di chapter ketiga. Di part ketiga di minggu ceria nanti. Minggu depan. Jadi dia tepatnya ada di episode kelima minggu depan ya. Terima kasih atas kesempatannya mendengarkan episode 4 ini. Yaitu tentang frekuensi missing cerita kelanjutannya chapter 2 part kedua. 
kita jumpa lagi minggu depan guys selamat hari ini